Hi folks, this is Max from Epic4GTouchRoot.com um, So I've got a new ROM review of the Blazer ROM um, This one is super fast Bloat, bloat re uh, Bloatware removed CIQ, carrier CIQ removed uh, 4G, 3G hotspot hack uh, Modded browser, modded camera, um, lag fixes This is the ROM by um, ROM by who is it? Uh, Phantom Hacker, he's also um, been making great ROMs for this and also Galaxy Tab 10.1. Um, anyway, it's really nice. It's really um, quick. One thing I noticed, let me show you the browser. Alright, let's go. Type something. Who? Uh, as you can see, it's very, very fast. Um, let me see here. Oh, let me show you the version number. Settings. This one actually comes with the stock kernel. Um, so if you've been having trouble with um, LOS and whatnot, um, you should be good to go. Blazor version 2.0. If you want to overclocking, just go to the market and download Tegrec. Tegrec overclock. Um, that way you don't need a Take right overclock, install this. That way you don't need to install um, aftermarket kernel. And I I've de I stopped developing kernels, by the way. It's it's just taking too much time and you know I have so many sites to make videos, so I'm not gonna be doing this. But you can use take right overclock. Uh, I've reviewed this on the international version. Um, this one works really well. Let's load overclock module. And uh, this one also allows, the good thing about the Tegra Overclock is it allows you to actually overclock your um, GPU also. See under GPU, oops. Whoa, there we go. Um, back, you can actually overclock to, um, lock to 267. Yep, you can do, um, lock it there and let's overclock it to the highest for 1.452 and uh, that way I've got um, I've got it all overclocked let's run a quadrants test just for the hell of it and you should get pretty good numbers here because of the Tegra overclock. Um, even though it's only overclocked 1.452 gigahertz, um, we effectively overclocked our GPU to 267 megahertz. So it should be pretty good. Should get around 3,500 um, on quadrant, maybe a little bit more at 1.452 gigahertz. Um, but this is a great ROM. Um, there's also some extension for tweaks. Um, highly recommend it. Anyway, I know this. there's going to be uh, some ICS ROMs. There's already for the original Galaxy S2, the series 2983. Okay, that's not too bad, but it's really the, the speed um, of the ROM that matters. And I feel like it's it's much faster. It's not a, I, don't, I don't think it's just placebo effect. Anyway, check it out. Blazing ROM. Blazer ROM. Uh, oh, I forgot to show you the Android version oh yeah oh yeah 10.2.3 oh yeah I forgot to tell you I also have the Galaxy Note arriving today via UPS the unlocked international version I have a full unboxing of that um, I'm so excited because I got to try Galaxy Note when I was in Korea and it's so nice it's it's like Galaxy S2 times like 2 um, th the one I ordered it comes with uh, 1.4 gigahertz Zynos processor. This is 1.2 dual core versus that one is 1.4 um, dual core. So it's a, it should be faster than the original Galaxy S2 with even a bigger screen, 5.3 inches, um, and you get the stylus. And the Korean version actually has um, DMB TV, but we don't have it here, uh, which is too bad. But um, it should be pretty fast. I'll be rooting that in. You know what? That's going to be my new favorite phone. I've tried the Galaxy Nexus too, and just. And you've probably seen the LTE Galaxy Nexus reviews for Verizon. It's it just the battery life just sucks. 
um, but the Galaxy Note, the battery life is really good. Um, it has a 2500 milliamp per hour battery. This one has, I think, 1700. Think about how long the battery would last on that, even with the larger screen. Anyway, I'm so excited. I'm just waiting for my UPS guy. Um, as soon as I have that, I should have Galaxy Note in my hands pretty soon. Anyway, see y'all later. Um, subscribe and check out this ROM if you've been having some trouble. This one should fix a lot of problems and super fast. See y'all later. Thanks. Subscribe.